How's it going YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the pencil tool in Adobe Illustrator 2019. Now the pencil tool is a very powerful tool and I never knew how powerful it was until I started using it. So in this particular video what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys how to shade with the pencil tool. It makes shading so much more easier and so much more faster because in most cases when I start to shade what I do is I just pull out my brush tool and I select my brush which is calligraphy brush so I can get good pressure sensitivity and what I do like for example on this character right here is I would just start shading in her color just for example I would start shading her in just like this and it would take me all day you know depending if um, I'm doing like highlights and stuff not when it comes to shading in like the full area when I'm doing highlights I mean so like for areas like let's say her area here her plate mail whatever you want to call it it was uh, let's say it was bright red up here I want to make it darker red right here so I would start shading in the highlight like so and then I would just begin to start shading it in and you know it's taking me a little bit of time to do this and then that's where the pencil tool comes in handy so what I'm gonna do real quickly is I'm gonna give this whole entire character some color real quickly and then we're gonna go from there so give me one second I'm doing this all live okay so you see how I got everything going with the colors I'm gonna start shading in her stuff with the pencil tool so I'm gonna click out of the quick selection tool lock her in create a new t new palette and then for her legs like I said I would usually just like start to draw in with the pencil tool or not pencil tool but the brush tool and that's how I would usually always do it is I would go up just like so and I'll go just like that you know just to get those nice cool looking shades you know things like that and uh, then I just start shading it in and sometimes it'll take me a while to do this and sometimes lines aren't as sharp as I want it to be because I'm using the brush tool the brush tool is a great tool but sometimes it's just not the right tool to use when you're doing this type of thing bring that one back up there we go so yeah you can see what I'm doing and yeah I can do stuff like this you know just to give it that cool looking emphasis on the drawing or whatever I'm, I'm making you know at the, at the moment and that's pretty much what I would always do is use the brush tool just for something like this and the pencil tool in 2019 Adobe Illustrator has a couple cool little functions here that you can change how smooth you want it to be because usually the pencil tool in 2019 it would be almost like exact to your cursor if you're using a stylus um, so I'm more accurate with the stylus because of drawing and so yeah you can, you can now change it by double clicking on the pencil tool but you see that's what I would usually do with that type of setting but ever since I started using the pencil tool I'm gonna go to her shirt just to give us a different area color palette make it be more more darker let's go to like that darkness okay so I usually always use the pencil tool now so I just press the end button and now I'm on the pencil tool you can see you know usually just double click it and you can change the accuracy from smooth the more accurate it is the more you know accurate it is the more smooth it is the more it means like more like bigger line strokes you take the more smooth it's gonna look and you can change the width and stuff like that I just keep mine just like this because I like how it looks and yeah pretty much with the pencil tool you can draw anything so for example let's say I want to draw like let's say the apple symbol all in one stroke so let's see let's just do like that let's go like that uh, this is one ugly apple I'm saying it right now it's like that don't even have to connect I can go like go way out here and it just fills it in now keep an eye on your axis right here your color axis your swap to fill just press shift X if you want to see what you're drawing shift X again if you don't know what you want to do and let's say you get stuck out here all you gotta do is hover over it and then you can just reconnect it and then it'll reconnect with the same way you're drawing. If you don't if you lose connection, just easily just undo it and then you'll be good to go. But for example, for shirts and stuff like let's say on this woman I'm drawing this uh, this mechanical woman, I'm gonna work on her breast. So let's say I go like that and I go back and I go up and then I just go down and I just start working on it, you know? Just like so and then boom see how quick that was I'm already done shading that one part of her shirt which is amazing because now I don't got to work on it no more and it just helps save so much time when it comes to your workflow when you're drawing or you're sketching and this is pretty much the way how I think people should be shading nowadays because it's just so much quicker than the other method the other method you can do a lot of cool things depending on what you have to shade 
like if you're just shading in like a bunch of hair and stuff then this is not your method this is good for getting the full initial outline of your hair but that's about it and i can just do so much with this tool like it's ridiculous what i'm able to do with this tool um you have to be careful because like you know as soon as you go over other lines and stuff like that it does show so just be careful on that but it's nothing too crazy or too big because you're able to just work so fast with this tool and my workflow has been exceptionally fast with this and like i said you can see how quickly i'm just shading in things how quickly my workflow is just vastly going you know i'm not i'm not doing everything live right here and everything is just coming together you know so do things just like real quick real easy smooth you can move things around by going to the selection tool just to get it nice and more lined up and things like that and it just works really nicely you know and you can do so much with this tool and that's why i recommend you use the pencil tool like right there i messed up so just command z it and just redo it again just on the outline and this does take practice to get your accuracy going once you get your accuracy going it's nothing like literally it's just nothing once you get your accuracy straight up and you could just have so much fun with this tool and i just recommend it because the pencil tool saves lives you know it saves lives in the art industry and as you see you know the shading is coming together real easily real quick like you know, like let's say i wanted to edit her armor some more i could just go like swoop let me go to get the proper armor color which will be this lighter shade making myself a sith lord you know so let's say i want to just go straight up like you know like you know again you know and i'm just i'm just doing it let go right here i mean i can play the hit command x boom looking fresh right do it again because let me tell you something the pencil tool helps out a lot when it comes to shading and I'm gonna throw up an example of what I did for one of my commissions I've done for someone. And it's just a really amazing style of how I got my hair done real quickly. And if you just look right here, the video is sped up and I'm just doing it. I'm knocking them out, knocking them back. And you know, you just set up your stuff up properly to the way how you want to do it, to the color palette and things like that. And things just come out looking really nice when you start actually getting into the meat of your image because usually for me when it comes to making an image or anything drawing it out like this and stuff that's the easy part that's super easy i can always knock that out in no time what takes me forever is the is the shading part that part takes me forever and like i hate how long it takes me to draw in or to color in people um all the highlights and all the details and stuff like that because it just takes such a long amount of time but with the pencil tool it makes everything just flow like incredibly flow and it's just not hard you know like i'm just busting out these shades and these shadows like it's really just nothing you can add like little cool little indentations and things like that to your design you can overlap them uh front to back and you just start right there as i went out and it's super easy to just erase because the eraser tool just erases it real easily and so it looks cool you know just doing my work you know making shit look good you know and that's pretty much it to the pencil tool you know you just got to really be diligent on the color palette you're using and once you start figuring out how to use your color palette you can just really just start plucking away like you see see anything showing up here next that's, that's all black down there so and you just start working and you'll just catch a sense of how to do it and eventually you just become a master at it when it comes to the pencil tool and you can just do so much with this tool and that's why i recommend it to everybody just because of how easy it is to make it work like look at my character i'm almost finished shading her entirely within this little small video but that is pretty much it pencil tool again main function is is pretty much it's just a quick line filler you know it's easy to adjust you can do so many things with it you can adjust all these little things by going to the direct selection tool and you can select things move it out if you don't like it change it for example i went outside of the line right here all you gotta do is select it doesn't matter which way you select it you can just go in with the eraser tool and just go in and erase what you don't like and if you don't like that just, you know edit it you can delete hold that thing and do it all over again and literally that's pretty much it when it comes to the direct selection tool like i am putting in work right here on this image without no issue and i'm just flying right through it like people don't even really like i still see people who don't even know about the pencil tool if they use adobe illustrator to make their images 
and they just continue doing what they do you know it's not a bad thing that uses a brush tool but it can be a slower method and like when it comes to doing finer details like hair it's a great tool because you can get those fine jagged lines when you do hair like because it's sharp you know you can do those sharp lines on the hair and it can just make it work really easily you know it's not hard to get those nice sharp lines and that's pretty much the video but let me know what you guys think this is your boy diamonds here at common sense graphics rate comment subscribe let me know what you guys think follow my ig page i just hit 1700 this morning and i'm excited so i'm gonna put a link of that in the description below but you know who it is your boy diamonds rate comment subscribe i'm here to draw some shit i'm out